Hey everybody, uh, we have a little bit of a change in plans. Tomorrow we're taking the boat out. Today I think should have been the day that we did it, but my friend has to work till 8 o'clock tonight, so it's not going to happen. I still could take it out myself, but we're just going to, you know, save some fuel, you know, since we have to pay them stupid gas prices because people don't know how to vote. But, uh, yeah, we're going to take the boat out tomorrow. It's supposed to be a high of 47 degrees. But with that being said, there's the boat. With that being said, we're going to head over to uh, the lake that's right near the house here. And we're going to still do that mystery box challenge. Okay, we're still going to do the mystery box challenge. We got it right here. I have my bag up here for hooks and things, just in case we have some soft plastics in here that we don't, or that we need hooks for. So that's the only thing we're going to add to it will be the hooks and probably some uh, split shot, or not split shot, but some uh, Wu Tungsten weights. So, uh, yeah, go, on, go in there and make sure the dogs are taken care of, food. Had a little bit of a technical difficulty there. Battery on the GoPro is dead. So, let's get her bag here quick. Get on over there and catch some fish. We have a bluegill. Some crazy crawl, firebug color, which will go good with this jig. Zero gravity jig. Never used one of these before. And what we're going to tie on right now will be the tube X, the green pumpkin red flake. <clears throat> these hooks are too big. Let's flip it out here. Let it sink a little bit. If I had some shaky head, uh, jig heads right now, I'd probably use that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna modify this bait a little bit. I mean, you have, you have four of these right now, but I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna take off this one. And we're going to take off this one. There, now you got, now there's two on there. That looks a, it's different and it kind of actually looks better like a crayfish. So let's try this out. Still the same bait, I just modified it a little. And we're going to try this one here from Bruiser Baits. A little meteor, meteor bait. Looks like it would work well with the jig, but we're going to rig that one up weedless as, as well. I want to have a real slow, slow fall rate. Yeah, I could use a bigger hook for this bait. Just throw it in the water here. That has a nice fall to it. If we get a bite on it and I lose it, we'll switch to a bigger hook. I'm just gonna dig through this bag here. See what else I have in here. In case this mystery tackle box thing doesn't go according to plan. Ooh, look at that. I do have a Ned, a Ned hook. Well guys, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this off. Okay, we're gonna cut this off here. 
We're gonna go with the, uh, what color should we go with? Gonna go with the green pumpkin. As much as I want to catch something on that mystery tackle box. I don't know if that's happening today. Whoa, almost fell in the water. That would have that would have been great. <laughs> I don't see how I pulled that off for not falling in the water. Oh, look at that. First cast with the Ned rig. Do I have that on video? Do I have that? Yes, I do have it on video. How, how do you like that, guys? How do you like that? The conditions just didn't call for that bait that I was using. Good old Ned rig. I mean, he's a little guy, but he's a fish. Yes. There we go. There we go. I just casted it out there like that. Put the rod down in the water, almost fell in the water. Got a sip of Mountain Dew. And I didn't even do anything. I just left it sit there. I literally just left it sit there. I kind of like dead sticked it. I picked up the rod and it was heavy. There he is. Another nice little chunky fish. Hey, look at that. Hey guys, check this out. There's a jerk bait just floating in the water. See that? What are the odds of that? Don't know what kind it is, but I do know what kind it is for sure. That's a Rapala, shad wrap, slow rising. It's fairly new too. Color to it. I'll take it. Throw it in my bag here, quick. Yeah, it looks like six, seven bucks. About seven bucks. That's almost two gallons of gas. <laughs> well, somebody likes using Guggen Squad stuff. Bandito bug. We'll make sure we take it. Actually, you know what? I'll do that now. Kind of feels like it was water in it. Yeah, let's put that in my pocket. It's like, come on guys, just throw your trash away. That was a light bite. That was a light bite. And flash splashed me in the eye.
That was a real light bite. Oh, calm down there, buddy. Open your mouth so I can get you. All right. Let's move down a little bit. Get closer to where that water's coming in. Sounds a little better. Very alive and healthy fish, ain't it? Well, of course it's alive, but very healthy fish. another nice fish still got it oh there was another one that came in after it you know I'll, I'll catch these little guys all day I don't care people can say what they want about these little fish you can catch giants all day if you want I don't care it's fun catching these little guys They're probably going to be stacked up in here, I believe, because you have that water flowing in. Whoa. That is another one of those little dinky fish. The fun fish to catch. 